Hey guys, let's keep working with moments. Give me a moment. You know, I always say this, but it's a joke that a student of mine made and it's so bad that people were laughing only because the joke was so bad. He says that a moment, uh, not a moment, that the system went into, rotating system went into the bar and then the bartender asked, what can I give you? And the system say, give me a moment, please. <laughs> it is so bad. But anyway, it says two men exert, a, two people, two persons exert the force of 80 pounds. And this is 80 pounds. And a force of 50 pounds here on the ropes. Determine the moment of each force about A. And then which way the pole rotate. I wouldn't ask this problem like that. I will just say determine in what direction the pole rotates. Because it's basically spoon feeding you here what you have to do. So, and this is what you have to do. You have to calculate the total moment with respect to the point A and depending which one it is, the biggest one in that direction is going to rotate. So we can solve that problem as easy as saying summation of the moment with respect to the point A. And we are going to assume counterclockwise as positive. Otherwise, it will give us the direction that we need. And in order to do this problem, we just need this component and the vertical. But the vertical component passes through the point. You see that? and it's not producing moment. Same with this one. We need this component and the vertical, but the vertical one passes through the point A, so I don't have even to worry about that. This one will be 50 cosine 45 degrees, and this one here, which is the same as in this side, will be 4 fifth multiplied by 80. Remember, is always the side that is parallel divided by the hypotenuse multiplied by the force. So let's start. The first one, 50 cosine 45. In what direction? Rotation in this way. That means counterclockwise. That means positive. This one, 80 divided by 4 fifth. That's the value of the force. Ah, we, need, we didn't put the, the distance here. So 5 cosine 45 multiplied by the, the force is horizontal. The total distance is 18. I'm going to put it here. Sorry about that. Just to see if you're paying attention on this. Now, the force is horizontal. The distance must be vertical, which is 12. And the direction of rotation, you put your finger, you apply the force. Rotation clockwise, meaning negative. And now you solve that. 18 times 50 times cosine 45 minus 80 times 4 divided by 5 multiplied by 12. And that would be negative 131.60 pounds per foot. This is not actually what the problem is asking. The problem is just asking determine the moment of each force. Well. You sum this, you add this, that's going to be the moment of that force. You add this, that's going to be the moment of that force. I'm just calculating the resultant moment. And the fact that it's negative, and we assume that counterclockwise is positive, that means that the pole is rotating clockwise. And that will be it. Super easy. Keep learning and keep watching. One of the things that I suggest you guys when you see that I'm posting a video, uh, don't look at the video yet. Try to solve it on your own. And if you get stuck, you watch the video. Keep learning.